Hey everybody and welcome back to another story time. Today we are going to be reading Crazy for Canada by Noah Schwartz and it was illustrated by Mick Beaumont and Susan Tibbet. You can find this story over on Tumble Books if you go to the Southeast Regional Library homepage. Under the e-resources tab you'll find Tumble Books and if you just type in the search Crazy for Canada it'll come up for you. Um, so the reason we're doing this story today is this week is Canadian Children's Book Week. The theme this year is Readers Take Flight, which is lots of fun. There's lots of different books um, that uh, go with that theme. However, I found this really cute craft and um, this other book was available on Tumble Books. So that's why I went <laughs> with this other book and this other craft. But um, yeah, there's so many different talented artists. There's so many different talented authors that have written children's books. And if you are interested in um, checking out any of them, we have brought into the branch a variety of titles for you. So in addition to the story that we're going to be doing today, um, you can check out some of the other stories that uh, some of the other Canadian authors have done. So without further ado, let's get into this craft. I hope that this craft works. I kind of am making a little bit of a hybrid between a couple of different crafts that I've seen. So we're going to be making a beaver because what is more Canadian than a beaver, right? So I have pre-cut a little head. I put a little tuft of hair on him because it's lots of fun. I cut out some eyes and a tail for this guy. Um, the craft that I saw this was actually for a bumblebee, but I um, am altering it, so I'm pretty sure it'll work. So I'm just going to add some texture to the tail here. Um, this craft is good for drawing skills, cutting skills, um, fine motor skills, and then you can color in some of these. Totally up to you, however you want to make your beaver look. It's, it's your craft, you go wild. Just gonna add a little bit of extra color here. Okay, and then we can put on the eyes so we're going to be doing some gluing that's where the fine motor kind of comes in as well as with the cutting all right so i didn't measure out any <laughs> any of uh these things that i cut out today other than the head i used something to make my circle the rest of it i'm just hoping that it works today all right Perfect. So we've got his eyes here. All right. You can see that there. And then I'm going to add in some pupils with some markers. You totally up to you. You can do that with a marker. You can do that with um, other pieces of paper. You can do some more gluing. However you guys want to do your craft, it's totally up to you. And then I'm going to add in a little nose here. Uh oh, my marker is losing ink here. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then I don't know if you guys can see, I put two little X's on the bottom of my little face here. I'm gonna just add, his face was looking a little plain to me. I'm gonna add just a couple more little details here. So what those X's are for is we're going to just cut along those lines. So I'm going to fold my paper in half and then just do a little snip and then fold it along the other side of that X and do a snip. So now a finger can go through there and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'll do a little snip and... Snip. Okay, and then you'll see at the very end why we did that. Before we do that, though, I'm going to glue on my tail. 
The reason I'm gluing my tail on after I cut was I just wanted to make sure that I didn't cut his tail. Okay. So we have our guy constructed. I'm going to tilt you guys back up so we can see this happen. And then I hope my cuts are big enough for my fingers. I'll have to use different fingers, I think. Ooh, I might have had to make a bigger head. We'll see. Um, but okay, yeah, I should have made a bigger head because my fingers are a lot bigger. But your little guys, when you get home, <laughs> and then you stick your fingers through, and it's like the little beaver teeth. How cute is that? <laughs> All right, I hope you guys have so much fun making this at home. His teeth look a little busted, but um, yeah, you can use, if you make bigger holes than I did or you have smaller fingers than I do, you can fully wrap them around and it looks like little teeth. So yeah, have lots of fun with this. If you need supplies, by all means, stop by the library and we'll put a little kit together for you. And yeah, have lots of fun this Canadian Children's Book Week. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye.